Hello, my name is Roisin and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. As Sunday is Father's Day and I thought maybe you were looking for a present for your dad, I thought today would be the perfect day to do a video of 50 books for dads. Yes, five zero <laughs> books. So I'm going to go through this very quickly. It's going to be very short synopses of each book. And I have to admit, I haven't read all of them because I am not yet a dad. But I do know dads who either have read them, have them, books I've gotten for my dad or other dads in my life. I have identified seven different types of dad. Um, so we have seven different categories to go through. Hopefully your dad falls into at least one of these categories. There are some categories of dad I have left out. I have not, I'm not talking about politics dad because I don't know what side of the aisle your dad falls on. Um, and I'm not talking about film buff dad because I am not a film buff <laughs> enough to recommend books on that um, in that subject but the first dad that we're going to talk about is history dad I don't know if any of you have seen that um, comedy special where it's like none of your dads have friends all our dads are just reading about world war ii preparing for some sort of world war ii test um, well I've expanded outside of world war ii because I think some of our dads are training for cold war tests Tudor tests medieval tests or ancient Rome tests so we've got a wide range of history, both fiction and non-fiction here, that I think are perfect for your dads. The first one is The Spy and the Traitor by Ben McIntyre. This is a piece of narrative non-fiction about a spy during the Cold War. He was a senior KGB officer who supplied secrets to MI6. And this kind of tells the story of his life and also his signal that he wants to be smuggled out of Soviet Russia because he is no longer safe. It's a really great piece of narrative non-fiction um, that I think will appeal to those who don't read a lot of non-fiction but at the same time is written by a really great historian. Next I don't think I can make a video where I reference history and don't recommend Wolf Hall. Um, if your dad hasn't read Wolf Hall yet it is an excellent book. Twice winner of the Man Booker this series. This tale of a rags to riches Thomas Cromwell who started as a poor boy in Putney and ends up as consigliere to Henry VIII with all of the rich beautiful engrossing detail of the Tudor court and is really the story of inside one man's mind. It's got Game of Thrones level machinations but really great historical detail as well. Speaking of Game of Thrones, although not really, the next book I would recommend is another piece of fiction and that is The Game of Kings by Dorothy Dunnett. Set during the Tudor period where Mary Queen of Scots is a baby and the Tudors are trying to get her married to Edward VI. Lyman here is an earl in Scotland is believed to have betrayed his country to the English and has been in exile. When he returns no one can be quite sure what his motives are. This is one for those of you whose dads are into heist movie but also history at the same time. It really delves into the history of Scotland in the 16th century um, but at the same time has a lot of thrill and one of those witty charismatic charming leads. Now I mentioned that some of our dads are really into Roman history and there is no one better for Roman history than Mary Beard. Her book SPQR is the story of Rome from the founding and the kings of Rome through the Republic and into the Empire until the collapse. We hear the stories of everyday normal people as well as those in power, political machinations and social history all put together um, by the brilliant and wonderful Mary Beard. Another one for those of you with dads in interested in more ancient history is Alexandria, The Quest for a Lost City. This one is a bit more of an adventure, a Raiders of the Lost Ark kind of thing. So if your dad thinks he's Indiana Jones, this book might be for him. It tells the story of the city of Alexandria, which suddenly vanished and then was discovered again in 1833 in Afghanistan by Charles Mason, an ordinary working class boy. This boy ends up spying for the East India Trading Company and spying for the Russians at the same time, a wild adventure through 19th century India and Afghanistan. If your dad is interested in the great game and the history of imperialism that I would also recommend Gun, the Ship and the Pen by Linda Colley which goes through every continent from 1755 and the making of the Corsican constitution. Corsican. Corsican constitution. From Catherine the Great to James Africanus Horton of Sierra Leone to Kaya al-Din of Tunisia, the creator of the first modern Islamic constitution. How constitutions evolved in tandem with warfare and how they worked to advance empire as well as nations and to exclude as well as to liberate. Another one that is I think really interesting for people who are interested in empire and also how history impacts on modern times would be Empire Land by Santham Sanghera. He illustrates how much we view to be modern Britain is actually rooted in our imperial past. From the NHS to modern racism, our distrust of intellectuals and British exceptionalism. The British Empire was a centuries long institution that covered much of the world and yet is largely hidden from modern British understanding. Um, and this book is a blend of the historical and the personal so if your dad is interested 
interested in politics, I feel like this might be uh, a way to go through history uh, to look at ideas of our modern understanding of ourselves in Britain. Next, going in an entirely different direction for those World War II dads out there is The Bomber Mafia by Malcolm Gladwell. I know Malcolm Gladwell is a favourite writer among the dads of the world and his newest book is about World War II. So what more could a dad possibly want? And it is about a small band of revolutionary military thinkers leading up to World War II who saw the aircraft as the route to success. And it's about the idea of precision bombing and just taking out specific critical points for your enemy. Technology and the best of intentions can collide during war. I'm sure Malcolm Gladwell is someone that your dad has at least heard of and so it might be of interest to read this book. And then finally one that everybody has been recommending since it came out is Black and British by David Olusoga. If your dad is British he may be aware of David Olusoga through the TV programme A House Through Time and this book tells the story of black people in Britain from the ancient Roman times through Tudors and up to the modern time. It is another history book that tells the history that is often left out which I think is something that a lot of people are interested in and it explores the way that black people have been involved in the building of Britain for centuries. Right moving away from the history dad let's get into the sports dad. I've got a load of books here from a range of different sports so hopefully some of them will appeal to you. Unfortunately none of these are the American centric sports, um, American football, baseball, basketball. Uh, these are all more global sports but hopefully even if you are American your dad might be into one of these sports. The first one is a memoir by Pat Nevin called The Accidental Footballer. Pat wanted to be like his brothers and become a teacher but he was just too good at football. He was raised in Glasgow's East End and an obsessive fan of Celtic but he also loved Joy Division and going on protests. Placed firmly in the 80s and 90s with the advent of the Premier League and um, this is very much of the time and place the 80s and 90s which I think if you're my age was potentially one of your dad's heyday. Another one for football fans out there is Inventing the Pyramid, The History of Football Tactics by Jonathan Wilson. And this is a book all about the global history of football tactics. So if your dad is really a stats nerd, um, if he loved playing football manager, I feel like this might be for him. And it follows like a history of evolving trends of football tactics. So if that's the sort of thing your dad's interested in, then I think this would be the book for him. Another one is that is a memoir, and that is They Don't Teach Us by Eniola Aluko, who is one of the most capped players for the England women football team and she has played in 102 appearances. She's also the first female pundit on Match of the Day and a UN ambassador. So overall she's a really really impressive woman and she uses football and her um, history as a way to talk about ideas of race and identity, success and failure. It's a bit of a different football memoir for many dads but I think that it was one they could appreciate all the same. Next a sport I know absolutely nothing about. This book won the Pulitzer Prize for Biography so hopefully it will be of interest to those dads who are really into surfing and that is Barbarian Days A Surfing Life by William Finnegan. William Finnegan started life as a surfer in California and Hawaii and this is his memoir of spending his days traveling the world learning to surf. It is exactly the sort of thing many dads like. An old school adventure story, a social history and a story of one man's gradual mastering of an exacting and little understood art. So if your dad's a surfing dad or just really interested in people who do extreme sports then this may be the book for him. One that sounds like a lot of fun is A Season with Verona by Tim Parks. Tim Parks is an award-winning novelist and travel writer and this is his story of travelling with the football team in Hellas for Verona who are one of the most controversial football teams and it's about them battling for survival. Part travelogue, part social investigation. I think it's quite a fun romp um, and so even if your dad's not into football this might be one that he would like. A classic now and that is The Fight by Norman Mailer. Norman Mailer is famous for his innovative journalism and this is one of the most famous fights of all time, the rumble in the jungle. So if your dad's into boxing, into history, into journalism this could be one for him. For any of the rugby dads out there I would recommend Seven Heavens, The Beautiful Chaos of Fiji's Olympic Dream by Ben Ryan which won the Telegraph Sports Book of the Year. It's, his, it's the autobiography of Ben Ryan, the coach of Fiji which lifted one small nation hopes as underdogs to achieve sporting greatness in 2014. Next one I do have one that might be of interest to film buff dads as well as sports dads um, and that is The Life of Senna. Um, if your dad is a film buff there's a good chance he will have seen the documentary film about Senna um, which won so many awards a few years ago and the book is The Life of Senna telling the same story but in book form. Senna is the three times Formula One champion. Moving on now, do you have an outdoorsy dad? I have some books to recommend for that too, whether this is gardening or walking. We've got a range of different outdoor activities. The first one I would recommend is The Old Ways by Robert McFarlane. I love Robert McFarlane, an absolutely beautiful writer who's 
of nature writing is stunning and the old ways is about the old paths footpaths that crisscrossed britain telling the stories and ghosts of britain as he traveled around the country another one that i think would be great for an outdoorsy dad is i belong here by anita secchi a journey along the backbone of britain oh, anita was traveling through the north of england when she was subjective to a beautiful a brutal race-based attack she experienced huge panic attacks after this and was intent on traveling without fear and so she walked the pennine way in the north of england this is a book about how about walking and resilience and also about identity and the nature of britain one for those gardening dads out there would be around the world in 80 plants by jonathan drury and lucilla clerk and this is an illustrated book about 80 world plants exploring the science history and cultural significance of 80 different plants from around the world if your dad is a gardening dad and he's from the uk then there's a good chance he's a fan of gardener's world and so monty don's book my garden world is one that i would recommend for him it is about our relationship with the natural world and monty don's own garden which those of us who watch his program will be very familiar with Longleat. one that is a collection of various different authors if your dad is one to read for short periods of time and finds a longer book difficult would be in the garden essays on nature and growing 14 essays about the nature of gardening and the connections and resonances of horticulture both in both for our culture and for our environment another tv favorite of dad's is chris packham well known for spring watch and autumn watch and he has a new book called back to nature how to love life and to save it so if your dad is an eco fan then i think this would be a book for him talking about the latest breakthroughs in conservation a case for rewilding and reconnecting with the world around us if your dad's outdoorsy adventures tend towards the cycling then one man and his bike by mike carter sounds like it might appeal to him this is the story of carter's epic 5,000 mile ride around the British coastline, which is the equivalent of riding from London to Calcutta and covers the entire uh, story of the entire nation. If your dad is a fan of nature, then I think that poetry can be a really good, and the poem and the Pan Macmillan's poems for every day of the year are a really good step into that. The most recent to be published is a poem for every summer day, um, which seems just perfect for a June present. Next, music dads. My dad is definitely a music dad, so, so I will definitely be looking into getting him some of these. The first one on this list, the first one I have is Long Players, writers on the albums that shaped them, from people like Bernadine Evaristo to Neil Gaiman. Last year for Father's Day, I got my dad a Bernadine Evaristo book, so perhaps this year I will get him this one. 50 well-known writers explore their connection to their favourite album and their love of music. For a non-fiction that is music related, the final revival of Opal and Nev by Dawny Walton, which tells the story of, is written as an oral history of a cult band about a black female punk singer in 1970s New York um, and is about a uh, racial incident that happens during one of their gigs. Um, my dad was a punk so I feel like this one might be right up his street. A perennial dad favourite is Bob Dylan and Paul Morley's You Lose Yourself You Reappear. The many voices of Bob Dylan would be perfect for, for a dad who is a Bob Dylan fan. This is a really in-depth lyrical analysis so if your dad loves Bob Dylan's words then this would work for him. If your dad's more of a Beatles fan then winner of the Bailey Gifford last year was one, two, three, four, The Beatles Through Time. It's a revisionist look at the Beatles history, a deep dive into their, from their getting together to their eventual split and explores the lives of the people that came into their orbit. Another one of my dad's favourites is David Byrne and his book How Music Works would work well for those dads who are also fans of Byrne. It's about culture, context and technology and how they combine to form the music that we love. My Rock and Roll Friend by Tracy Thorne is another one that is an in-depth look at the friendship between two women involved in the indie music scene. Tracy Thorne herself and, and Lindy Morrison, the drummer of The Go-Betweens. This takes on 37 years of a friendship at, through musical history, which again might be an era that your dad was really involved in music too. Another really well-reviewed musical autobiography is Man Enough to Be a Woman by Jane County. Born in rural Georgia in 1947, became involved in the 60s art scene with revolving around Andy Warhol in the 1960s in New York came out as a trans woman and was part of Stonewall so her history is really interesting look at LGBT history and how it intersects with music and then my final music book is Lady Sings the Blues by Billie Holiday perhaps your dad is more of a jazz fan and I think that this would work perfectly for the dad who is into that an autobiography of one of the greatest icons of the 20th century maybe your dad is a foodie dad and all foodie dads that I know love Anthony Bourdain out this year is World Travel an irreverent guide written by Bourdain himself as well as Laurie Woolley Oliver who took over when he um, tragically passed away. So if your dad is both travel dad and foodie dad I think that this 
exploration from Buenos Aires to Borneo and a celebration of the life of Bourdain for whom I know is a great icon for many many people I think this would be an excellent choice. If your dad's more looking for a cookbook then I would recommend Simple by Ottolenghi. It's easy and Ottolenghi at the same time which you don't usually say in the same sentence. Ottolenghi is a master of flavour but this simple cookbook is shorter time spans, fewer ingredients and ones that are easier to get your hands on. Part, part history, part culture, part food is the cookbook from Dushum, a favourite of many dads residing in London. I know Dushum is a um, Irani Indian restaurant and the cookbook gives you some of the recipes they use whilst also telling the history of the Irani Indians who, who were a community who lived, who moved to India in the 19th century. If your dad is into Eastern food, let me recommend Mira Soda's East. Uh, Mira Soda is an excellent food, uh, an excellent chef and a cook and writer. This has a range of dishes from India to Thailand to Japan. They are very simple and easy to cook and at the same time bursting with flavour. If your dad prefers food that's a little closer to home or if you are European, Sicilia by Ben Tish is one that I would recommend. Comprehensive cookbook from the island of Sicily. I don't think my dad will watch this video but I think this is the one I'm going to get him because despite being an Irishman he pretty much thinks he's Italian. Singapore is famous as a foodie destination and, and Macan by Elizabeth Haig is a cookbook that can get you those flavours in your own kitchen. A tribute to family cooking and the diverse, cuis and the diverse cuisines of the tiny city-state. Um, in terms of a food memoir I would recommend Toast by Nigel Slater, a, a really sad, sweet and beautifully written book about Nigel Slater's childhood and growing up where food really is at the centre but we can't help but feel for Nigel at the same time. And finally for foodie dad, a perennial dad crush, Nigella Lawson. You can't do better than her new book Cook, Eat, Repeat. Her standard simple home cook recipes with the um, glorious purple prose of Nigella. And the final type of dad I have to talk to you about today is science dad. We have a combination here of science fiction and non-fiction that would be perfect whatever your dad's scientific interests are. The first one I'm going to recommend is Clara and the Sun by Kazuo Ishiguro. Out this year, if your dad is a literary fiction reader or science fiction reader, this story of an AI who gets her power from the sun and who is somewhat sentient, um, I think will appeal to any dads worried about the singularity. Any dads who fell in love with My Octopus Teacher on Netflix this year would probably really love Other Minds, The Octopus and the Evolution of Intelligent Life, which, does, which goes through 500 million years of evolution, <laughs> investigating the lives of cephalopods. I think that's how you say that. Um, if your dad loves space and really enjoyed The Martian, then Andy Weir's new book, Project Hail Mary, may be the one for him, which charts the desperate last minute admission for a lone astronaut to save our planet. A tale of discovery and speculation for anyone who ever wished they were an astronaut. Another continual dad favourite is Bill Bryson. If your dad's a bit of a grumpy old man and also a fan of science, then let me recommend The Body by Bill Bryson. Combines anecdote and trivia in Bill Bryson's signature com comedic style to undercover the workings of our organs, muscles, bones and brains. If your dad is into brains and neuroscience, Seven and a Half Lessons by About the Brain by Lisa Feldman Barrett is probably right up his street and also has a really gorgeous cover which makes for an excellent gift. It's an engaging primer on the latest in neuroscience about how the brain creates experiences, emotions, thoughts and actions. One to put questions in your dad's mind about some of the myths he may have imbibed during his time is Testosterone Rex by Cordelia Fine, in which Cordelia Fine debunks the myth of testosterone as the king of aggression and competition and the essential difference in nature between those assigned female and assigned male at birth. For a really deep dive into medicine and compassion, When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalanithi. Paul Kalanithi was a neurosurgeon who had just qualified when he was diagnosed with terminal, a terminal illness. Paul Kalanithi died working on this book, but it is one that nobody who has read can come away with without thinking about mortality and what it means to live a good life. One for dads who are weird. <laughs> one a little bit of a weird book now for dads. This book centres a father-son relationship, um, but it's also about eels. And that is The Gospel of the Eel by Patrick Svensson, translated by Agnes Broom. Eels are weird and we don't know very much about them. We don't know where they make, we don't know very much about them at all and this book explores that as a father and son try and discover as much as they can about eels. And finally for any of those dads worried about what's going on inside their phone or on their Facebook, Radical Technologies by Adam Greenfield is one I would definitely recommend where Adam Greenfield considers our relationship with networked objects, services and spaces from smartphones to blockchain to VR and 3D printing. 
Greenfeld looks at what are the new technologies in our life and who is it is that controls them. Um, I have given you 50 books that potentially your dad may like. So if you have been looking for a present, I hope that I have found one that will appeal to your dad specifically. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of dad your dad is. Does he fall into any of these seven categories or are there other ones? Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it, to subscribe if you did enjoy this. Um, if you did, I will leave a video here about of all of my top 10 lists. I love giving book recommendations, so I've got a lot of them. And I will leave a button here for you to subscribe as well. I would love it if you would stick around. Thank you for watching and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye bye.